It's time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, the Grammys were in Vegas over the weekend, and I was flying back from Atlanta when it was happening, but I did see some of the highlights. Now, for the top winners of the night, John Baptiste got four trophies, including Album of the Year for We Are. He went into the night with 11 nominations, and he got Album of the Year, Video of the Year, and then Silk Sonic took home two other big categories, Record and Song of the Year for Leave the Door Open. Olivia Rodrigo was named Best New Artist and also won Best Pop Vocal Album and Best Pop Solo Performance. Um, We'll give you a lot of details about what happened, but let's get started with Trevor Noah. He opened up the Grammys, and here's how it started. Don't even think of it as an award show. This is a concert where we're giving out awards, all right? We're going to be listening to some music. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be singing. We're going to be keeping people's names out of our mouths, and we're going to be giving out awards all throughout the night. I wonder if last week's uh, events impacted the way Trevor hosted the award show last night. I mean, he's a comedian. Did he Did he really feel like, you know, I'm going to keep people's name out of my mouth because, hey, you never know. Yes. All right. Well, performers included Jay Balvin, John Baptiste, uh, BTS, Billie Eilish, Her, Lady Gaga, Cynthia Erivo, John Legend, Lil Nas X, and Jack Harlow. Nas. Nas. We're about to get into that right now. And here's Nas performing Made You Look. They shooting. Oh, made you look. You were slave to a page of a rhyme book. Oh, also here is Silk Sonic. They performed and they also gave a speech. As we told you, they did win Record and Song of the Year for Leave the Door Open. We are really trying our hardest to remain humble at this point, okay? But in the industry, we call that a clean sweep. That's my performance. All right? To all the other nominees, y'all know we love y'all. We love y'all, all right? Drinks is on Silk Sonic tonight. We getting drunk. Talk that talk. <laughs> they put out a great project. We're getting drunk. <laughs> All right. And shout out to Jasmine Sullivan. She won for Best R&B Album for Hotels. Well deserved. I think that I wrote this project um, to deal with my own shame and unforgiveness around some of the decisions that I made in my 20s that weren't favorable. But what it ended up being was a safe space for black women to tell their stories for us to learn from each other, for us to learn from each other, laugh with each other, and not be exploited at the same time. And um, that's what I'm most grateful for. So shout out to all black women who are just living their lives and being beautiful. Hotels is the perfect soundtrack for any whole face. Drop on the clues bombs for Hotels. Love that album. It was absolutely the best album of, uh, that was last year it came out, right? Yeah, I think for the Grammys, it had to have been last yeah, it year. it feels so long ago. All right, now Doja Cat also won for Best Pop Duo Group Performance with SZA for her song Kiss Me More. And she actually was in the bathroom when they were announcing it and they were trying to get her to hurry back. I have never taken such a fast <laughs> in my whole life. Did she wash her hands? Probably Thank not. Thank you, everybody. And you know what? SZA, you are everything to me. You are incredible. You're the epitome of talent. Uh, you're a lyricist. You're everything. I, uh, I like to downplay. She didn't have time. But this is a... <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> and, uh... If they called your name, would you have enough time to wash your hands? Live on television, no, you got to get there. You wash your hands after. And she probably had to pull up her, you know, it looked like she had like a onesie on underneath. That's not easy to manipulate your clothes. And I'm sure she didn't start running back once they called her name. She was out of breath. Yeah. When she got there. She was jetting. Probably was running back when the nomination started. All right, now we told you already, John Baptiste got four trophies and he had started out with 11 nominations, but he got the biggest awards. He got Album of the Year, Video of the Year. Salute to my guy, John Baptiste, man. That's a great brother right there. Dropping the clues bombs for John Baptiste, a real mu- musician, one album of the year. And salute to uh, Jahan Sweet. That is a young man who I've known since he was a little jit. Uh, you know, he, he, he won a, a Grammy for John Baptiste's album as well. That's Lil Duvall's cousin. And All right, well, John Baptiste is the band leader of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Mm-hmm. And by the way, he had recently uh, did an interview, and he got secretly married in February. He told CBS Sunday Morning uh, what happened, and he was with his wife now for eight years. 
and they decided to get married after she was recently diagnosed with leukemia for a second time. By the way, now here is his speech as he was winning. You know, I, I, I really, I believe this to my core. There is no best musician, best artist, best dancer, best actor. The creative arts are subjective and they reach people at a point in their lives when they need it most. It's like a song or an album is made and it almost has a, a radar to find the person when they need it the most. Man, late show bands have had an amazing couple of weeks. I mean, with Questlove winning a, an Oscar, Oscar for Summer of Soul yeah. last week and John Batiste winning for Album of the Year at the Grammys. I wonder if that's ever happened. Have late show bands ever been this popping? Have people from late show bands ever been this popping? I don't know, but late show bands have to be amazing because that's a lot of work that they have to do and a lot of synergy every day. And then they also are really good at being spontaneous and just reacting to what's going on on the fly. I can't so. remember nothing. I remember Pauly. That's his name from back in the day on Letterman. I think that was his name, Pauly. I think. I don't remember too many late show bands. It's the first generation I remember. Like, you actually know who the late show band is. All right, well, that is your rumor report. Yeah, go shout out Tyler, the creator, DJ Drama. We didn't finish. We have to go. We're going to come back with more. All There's right. a lot more that happened. Right. Ukrainian President Zelensky also spoke. Oh, Drama? Uh, there's... Yeah, he Tyler the creator. He oh. won. A, he won a, um We're gonna get into more. Don't worry. Yeah, he won one, and uh, you know, drama. He was the one that was. He voiced that album. He talked over the album. I didn't watch. I mean, I didn't watch. I, I saw watching when Wayno told them. them that they won. Like, um, oh, I did see that live. Yeah, yeah. while well, they were doing though. an interview. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Who to my guy Wayno? All right. Well, who are you giving your dog to? Man, we need Memorial Herman Hospital in Humble, Texas to come to the front of the congregation. Okay, let's start off this Monday morning with some trauma. Why don't we? Oh, we've been doing that, but yeah. Was All right. Four after the hour. We'll get to that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.